All right, Papa Duck here. Fixing to crack this nice little Ixalan. And probably give a pack or two away. Why not? And these packs will be going to people who have bought them from me over the last couple of weeks. And the point of no, huh? Yeah, they're going to be like, what? <laughs> you should put a note in there. That's, that's what I was going to yeah. Check out my YouTube channel. Yep, that's what I was going to do. Exactly. So. What is what? You know, these cards are so you can ride on them. Because they got flip cards and stuff. Jesus. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> These are nice packs. Yeah. They look cool. This is cool. And uh, I'm just These old boxes, I like them. If you feel the thickness on them, I, I, yeah. I got my cards in them. Yeah, they're, they're nice old boxes. So, let's see. You were saying to a Vraska? So I'm going to throw that one aside. And well, there's like five different pictures for you, so oh. it's like I was gonna give away like two. The top three ones. <laughs> Alrighty. Start this off correctly. Go through a couple of the commons, like a couple packs of commons, just to look at them. But then afterwards, I'm probably just gonna book right through them and get to the uncommons and the, the rares. Alright, so first off, we got Queen's Commission, a skull, a skull duggery, storm sculptor, spike tail, ceratops, hierophants, chalice, costly plunder, fire cannon blast, and dire fleet interloper. Encampment Keeper, and that's the commons out of this pack. And then for the uncommons, we got Lookouts Dispersal. Then we have Glorifier of Dusk. And Stormfleet Spy. And then for the rare, we have Fathom Fleet Captain. Kind of a cool over. Menace, uh, whenever you know, attacks, if you control another token, a non token pirate, you may pay two if you do create a 2 2 black pirate creature token. That's a cool card. And we just got a Dire Fleet Interloper foil with, I don't even know, whatever those are. <laughs> no, it won't. It really won't. It's gonna be like maybe 15 minutes. We'll see. I was gonna say I put the bag crash next to you for a reason. Mm -hmm. Sunrise Seeker, Nest Robber, River Herald's Boon, Prosperous Pirates, Territorial Hammer Skull, Di another Dire Fleet, some Swashbuckling, and Siren's Ruse, and uh oh, of course, Unknown Shores. That's always a, a thing throughout these, I noticed. Magic loves unknown shores. And then we got makeshift munitions of Vine Shaper Mystic and Snapping Sailback. I really like this set though, it's all dinosaurs and everything. It's cool. And then we got Angrath Moritors. The source would do a little damage to you, or to a permanent player, it deals damage. It doubled that damage. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. Just got the lands of the tokens. Screw it. Alrighty. Oh, we're gonna start moving a little quicker through them. Let's see if I see anything cool. That's like faded looking. That's weird. Uh, sheltering Light, Navigator's Ruin, and Bonded Horcrest. 
for the uncommons, and then a Captain Lannery Storm. If I remember correctly, that's like a $2 card. I sold one of those at one point. That one opened really weird. Deep Root Waters, Unclaimed Territory. Oh wow. And then Emissary of Sunrise and Sanctum Seeker for the rare. Doesn't Nick's one have water? I don't know. I don't think so. I might. Slash of Talons. If they had lottery cards when you looked up the price, it would you would have seen it. It would have been the most expensive cards in the uh, set. Not on MT MTG stocks. They got the lottery cards in a different section. Uh -huh. kind of ass, but, yeah. Heartless Pillage, a Sleek Schooner, and Dead Eye Quartermaster for that little things. Oh wow! And then I got the Glacial Fortress for the rare land of the the bunch. Tomorrow. I think those are like a buck of that. I'm really too sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up for you. Um, we'll go with PCG press guys. Yeah, that's what I sell on. That's what all the singles go off of, so. Okay. Mm, so. Fix these stacks, they're getting a little, a little awkward looking. This one's like, nice these cards are like slick, bro. They like slide away. Like, look at that. They've been in the packs for a couple years now, man. I know. It's funny, though. I'm like trying to play catch with all the cards. Uh. Y'all thought 50, 52 card pickup was just a little joke as a child. Nah. You, if you become a magic player, you do that on a daily basis. So what was the last rare you were talking? What were we talking? About? Glacial Fortress, yeah. Emergent Growth, yeah. Raging S Sword Tooth, and Dark Nourishment with a Spell Swindle for the rare. I feel like the art though. The art is a. a Reminds me of like the avatar or something for a lot of the dinosaurs for some reason like just like the background There's a lot of pirates and vampires in this set. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Bell Swindle? Right yeah. One you just got? Yep. Um, 115 on the low, 215 on the mid. Uh, that'd probably be a bonus card in one of the packs, honestly. Sheltering Light, Call the Feast, and Raptor Hatchling with an overflowing insight for the first rare. Actually, first rare? Or first mythic, hey. excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> I guess throw a pack as I, I cough, you know. Good old Rona. All right, they'll probably give me banned from YouTube. Hope so. Don't watch this and actually think I have Rona. Mm, just fodder. Oh, mm, that's cool art. Sentinel totem. Lightning Bird crew and Dire Fleet captain with daring saboteur as the rare. Dust Legion, Dreadnought, that? Willie Goblin, and Snapping Sail back again. What was your mythic? Uh, Overflowing Insight. Waker of the Wilds for the rare. Yeah. <clears throat> 
So shout out to the dude who sold me these, by the way. Held on to them for like a week as I dealt with some, some uh, tech issues. But everything works out. Sanguine Sacrament. Real rare. Oh my 